Can't hold this one. <laughs> hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. Inside this large and very heavy box is the Samsung Odyssey OLED monitor. This is a 49 inch 32 9 aspect ratio curved, again, OLED monitor. I'm really excited to check it out because it also has a 240 hertz refresh rate. It's actually a crazy gaming monitor. We're gonna take a quick look at what comes in the box of the G9 Odyssey OLED monitor. Of course, get it hooked up to my desktop, to play some games, check out some of the features of the monitor. And I will, of course, link to it down in the description below if you're interested in checking this monitor out. Let's get started. We're jumping right into it. First of all, the base of the monitor and the back piece with a slot for some cable management and the back mounting plate. You have your setup and installation guide and also an absolutely massive brick for the monitor. This might actually be one of the biggest charging bricks that I've seen. This is the connector and connects to this cable here. And honestly, this monitor is not moving anywhere. It's a 220 watt, 20 volt power brick. You also get three cables. First of all, USB type A to USB type C. You have an HDMI to mini HDMI plus a display port cable. Not only that, you get a remote peeling the tab for the battery with some shortcuts to some various streaming apps. And it's nice to have some control of the monitor outside of input because you might just wanna watch content instead of just playing games. So taking it out of the box, but leaving it in the styrofoam will be the easiest way to attach our stand. But let's take a look at the back here. We have our power button, which will also act as the menu controls, but don't, don't forget you do have that remote. Next to that, we have three USB type C ports and on the right HDMI port, display port, a power adapter slot and that micro HDMI port, which is nice that they included the cable. Connecting our back plate and base is really simple. Just slide it in and then make sure to screw in the bottom screws. Once that's in place, just connect the back piece to the monitor, it clips in and that's it. It is on very secure. There's a latch underneath here if you'd like to take off the back plate for whatever reason, but super simple. Nice that there aren't any loose screws. Everything's attached in one. And here it is, our Samsung Odyssey G9 monitor. Again, 49 inches. This is the back. Just crazy how wide this monitor actually is. I also would like to point out when you, you can actually tilt it back and forth like so. It doesn't give much left and right, maybe just a tiny bit if you need to level it. Our monitor is all set up and ready to go. Let's grab the remote and turn it on for the first time. All right, this thing's crazy. Definitely battle station worthy monitor. I'm gonna run through the startup process and just talk about anything that's noteworthy. I'd like to point out that this monitor does have Wi-Fi built into it, which is great because it does have a remote and you can use streaming apps. So you don't have to have any device connected to it to actually stream. So it's more of a like a smart TV as well, along with just an insane monitor to connect to your console or your laptop or PC. You do get a choice to use Bixby or Amazon Alexa as your voice assistant. Kind of a missed opportunity to not also have the Google Assistant. Sound and volume is adaptive with this monitor and if you enable it, it'll take into account the environment and the current content that's playing uh, and just optimize the audio coming out of the speakers in this monitor. So here we are on the home screen. You'll see the sides are a bit cut off, which makes sense. You don't wanna stretch out the content if you don't have to, but on the home screen, gives you some content that you can watch uh, within various apps. They do have Samsung TV Plus, which will show some live channels. Also apps you can go into, lets you know which ones are installed. You can install specific ones. Maybe you want YouTube TV. That's not pre-installed. It does have Apple TV. It has all the streaming apps you want, Paramount Plus, all that good stuff. Fubo as well for those live sports. Backing out of our apps, going back to the home screen, you can switch over to game, which will put all of your games together, your streaming apps. So you don't even have to have a console connected to it. You can, you know, stream via Xbox, Luna, Nvidia's GeForce Now. Going up to workspace, a little bit different. This is with Samsung DeX, uh, connection with a Windows PC, a Mac, or of course Samsung DeX, if you do have a Samsung phone. Uh, you can also run apps separately on the TV. Maybe you have a presentation, Google Meet as well. Obviously a search button to sift through your content. Maybe you're looking for something specific to watch. 
Going down, we have our connected devices with smart things to manage your smart home, TV access, connection guide, uh, and more. But I want to jump into settings here because there is multi-view, which obviously makes a lot of sense because you can cut this monitor in half and have content on multiple sides. So it looks like it's playing a fireplace right now. So we're gonna make our own layout for watching multiple content. Uh, so you can select a source for view one, maybe you want Samsung TV Plus, sure, and then maybe the internet on the other one. You can have other options, of course, but this is just saving a specific preset. And here you have it, left and right with multiple content. Switching left and right will change the volume, so maybe you have uh, another show on the right side and you want this fireplace for some ambiance or whatever. <laughs> you might not do this, but that's okay, but you can control the left and right side by going left and right. Uh, if you want to actually control it, I'm gonna select it with the content and you can have double audio, that's an option, Bluetooth speaker, full screen, content or apps source. Anyways, I also wanted to show off a couple more settings. Don't worry, we're gonna be gaming pretty soon. So diving into settings, there's multi-view, your content, smart monitor, speaker is the sound output. Uh, there's picture modes such as eco, movie, dynamic, it's gonna cool, warm, sort of change the colors to your liking. So go ahead and choose what you like. Uh, sleep timer. So if you have something up and you want the monitor to turn off automatically, Bluetooth device list, picture setup. Let's go into that. Pretty standard brightness, your contrast, sharpness, color, tint, all that good stuff. Otherwise you have specific sound modes such as standard, amplify, intelligent sound mode, which I talked about earlier. There is a game mode, of course, but it's got to recognize an input that it can use that low latency mode. Eye saver to turn things more warm. Here we go, 16.9 standard picture size. Uh, this function is not available because there's no content playing that can be stretched. Uh, I'll show that off in just a second. There's picture clarity with custom off or auto, so you can fine tune that. Standard color tone if you want it warmer or cooler. Uh, again, really nice that you have all of these different customizations, power and energy. And that's it for settings. I wanna say there's core lighting that you can turn on so the back of the monitor will have a lighting effect. If we turn off the lights, I can show that off. There's a lot of different effects such as rainbow, a breathing effect, static, comet, aurora, rotation. So if we go to static, you can completely customize the color. Oops, I backed out. Oh, there we go. Uh, if we wanted it uh, more red, which really shows off a little bit more on camera. Hopefully the camera's picking this up. Uh, but nice that you can truly customize the back coloring. So that's a really neat ambiance. And again, you can turn this on, off, color sync, which will be a more immersive gaming experience. It will synchronize the lighting effects with the screen. That's kind of neat. Within game settings, you can also have a virtual aim point on the screen, surround sound, a black equalizer, game motion plus settings, and also game picture as expert with HDR10 plus gaming. So diving into YouTube, the content is 16.9. If you'd like to split it in half, you can have it on one side and the other, which makes it very easy to multitask. Now, if I wanted to go into settings, press and hold the home button and bring that up. Now going over, you'll notice this picture size cannot change. So it needs to be a specific thing that brings up this 16.9 standard, probably some sort of external input such as a laptop or computer. And believe it or not, there is some 32.9 content on YouTube so we can actually see the full monitor being used while watching a video. It's just insane how, how wide this monitor can get. I just plugged my desktop in and I have to say one thing about Samsung's user interface is that switching inputs isn't quite as easy as I'd like it to be. There should be an input button on the remote, but there's not. Yes, you can use your voice controls, but that's just not quite as easy as press using an input button. And right away, going into it, it brings up some options. It recognizes, again, 5120 by 1440, which is insane. Uh, it lets us know the frames per second. Uh, right now it says 120, game mode settings, virtual aim point, sound input, uh, and the screen ratio. So you can change this. If you'd like it to uh, send a signal to your desktop and change it back down to 16.9, that is 100% an option, which again, you can open up a second app and have multiple content going at the same time. But for now, I'm gonna stretch it back out to 13.9, take full advantage of it on my computer. Also wanna point out there's a lot of different picture modes, eco, standard, uh, RPG, depending on the type of game that you're playing. So I love to see that uh, you can really customize it on the fly. 
All right, showing off some games. Gaming is insane on this monitor, especially when you're in full screen, 32-9 aspect ratio. Playing FIFA, you can almost see both goals on just the monitor. It actually helps because you can see more of the field and actually set up plays better. And game mode works really well. There's a 0 0.03 milliseconds response time plus that 240 hertz refresh rate. So everything looks insanely smooth. You get 99.3% of the color gamut DCI-P3. And this has 8.3 million self-illuminating pixels. You get near infinite color contrast ratio. And these games are being played on my desktop. However, remember you can also stream games over the cloud. So you don't just have to have an Xbox. By the way, if you have an Xbox or PlayStation, one of the newer ones, it does have HDMI 2.1 support, so you can take advantage of the higher refresh rate on the newer consoles. And don't forget, it's an OLED monitor, so when you have content, game content, video content that is using true blacks, you really, they just don't have the pixels on. So you'll see on the left here with the dog, the background is completely black and just makes the colors really pop. The image stands out. The contrast is insane. And the screen resolution is so high. You can have so many different windows open at once. I just have two here, but you can have, you know, Discord, a couple browser windows, your files, an email app. It's just crazy how, how, how much screen real estate you have. And opening up two sources at once is a little clunky. It can be a little slower, but you can do it. Unfortunately, you can't have a streaming app open on one side and a desktop on the other. I couldn't figure out a way to get that to work, but you can use maybe a browser, watch a YouTube video and have your desktop on the other side, but it does cut it in half. Anyways, that's everything from me on the 49 inch Odyssey OLED G9 monitor. This 240 Hertz curved, it's so immersive. I am really looking forward to testing this out more, playing some more games. It's super versatile with USB-C, display port, all the different connectivity. Even if you have a Samsung phone, you get the DeX capabilities. And obviously with the streaming apps and a remote, it's more like a TV as well to watch content on. Anyways, be sure to subscribe. A lot more content coming soon. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching.